Hey there, Libras! Welcome to your May 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share widely. Thank you so much because it does help me to grow the channel. Now, <clears throat> and if you do like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Libras, what we're going to do here, we will look at your month, um, slightly divided, if that makes sense, so it's easier for, to understand. So what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of May for the sign of Libra. And then we will go into your emotional core just to see what in May 2022 um, needs to heal or maybe love's coming in, <clears throat> all that kind of stuff, before we then finally go into um, opportunities. And opportunities for the most part are about what sustains you financially, right? Libras. Libras, are you ready? Here's what the guides have got for you for the months of May 2022. This is your overall energy. And you have really interesting things. <coughs> Excuse me. Asthma is shit. Anyway, <laughs> you have grace and gratitude and wondrous universe. In other words, what the guides are saying to you now that sort of spring is happening and um, and all around you everything blooms, um, try to get into that spirit. Try to get into that mode in understanding, you know what, the weather is nice, I'm alive, <laughs> right? Sounds easier said than done, but ultimately what they're saying to you is if you can be grateful for just being here and, and grateful for what you have, life doesn't, see, doesn't seem all that bad. And... I started a while ago doing a gratitude journal and it changes and changed so much because it is so easy not to see how blessed you are, if that makes sense. And that's what they asked me to do, right? Um, accept the things you have. Um, bathe in the knowledge that you have survived possibly horrendous things. Right? and that you're still a good person. All these things are really important because you have the wondrous universe, which means in order for you to um, reach your full potential, not just in May, but in life, <coughs> excuse me, they're saying to you, Librans, the only way to do this is to be grateful. And sounds weird. This is not meant in sort of a religious way, you know. Um, you have to, it's not like you have to behave a certain way, blah, 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 blah. That's not what this is about. What this really is about is understanding that you manifest everything on your current or with your current energy. And the universe can only answer your, your uh, requests or you um, based on your energy. So if you're feeling low, by default, the universe will only be able to send you low things, if that makes sense. And because you have the wondrous universe as the outgoing card for your overall energy uh, this month, what they're saying to you, Librans, is, right, be in your strengths, reflect on what you have achieved already, and then continue with that attitude and that energy to, um, you know, go your own and live, rule your own world, if that makes sense. It seems to be also important for Librans, is because you're the sign of balance, you tend to sometimes go with whatever feels like, okay, that brings stability into my life. Um, but you are a free spirit. You know, you're in the seventh house. Seven is the highest number of protection. If you just dismiss anything that doesn't feel right and sit right with you, you will go much further, right? So that said, let's have a look at your emotional call. Let's see what we got for your emotions in the month of May 2022 for the sign of Libra. You are watching Thomas' Tower page with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, with regards to emotions, what you do have is what is called begin now. Now, they're not talking here, at least to me they're not, <laughs> about... <clears throat> exploring love so much it's about understanding if you want to grow as a person and if you want to have good relationships you have to also realize that whatever is not yet healed needs to go so take your take your first step and that could mean uh, because this is about your emotional core that could mean that you're probably thinking oh don't know about this guy or, or this lady but i do like him right? 
find your intuitive spot. Remember, your intuition doesn't lie to you. See how you truly feel and then, you know, take a leap of faith, if that makes sense. Right? Take the first step. Be proactive in anything to do with love and healing whatever needs to heal for you this month. So in other words, what doesn't quite work for you in the month of May 2022 for the signs of Libra <clears throat> is when other people have to try to interest them in something, have to try to, to get your attention, if that makes sense, right? So this is all about you, in a way, coming back from trauma and saying, you know what, I trust that life is better, can be better, right? Fuck the past if it was bad, right? Literally. Um, and take your first step. Have a little bit of faith. And also, all the time, at all times, Libra, you are depicted by an old-fashioned scale. So it doesn't take much for you to be unhinged and to be unhappy. And so what they're saying is, you know what? If you allow yourself to not overthink, you will go so much further in all things love, right? And healing whatever trauma there is. <clears throat> so let's have a look at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of May 2022, as mentioned. <clears throat> please, 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 please like, subscribe and share. Really, really important. Now, opportunities are not super plentiful in the month of May, Librans. But what they're saying to you, whatever comes to you, the answer as to whether this is for you or not does not lie in going there for a couple of months and then knowing that was shit. <laughs> right? The answers are already within. They're asking you to remove yourself from the stresses of having to apply for a job making it work wherever you are. Ultimately, everybody who finds that these videos here um, is by default a spiritual person. And the universe will support who you are. So if you are self-employed and if you work spiritually, literally the universe, universe has no other option than to support you. And if you're not self-employed, maybe it's time to look into what you could do, right? And, um, yeah, you know, create a new future. But because the answers are within, what they're asking you is to actually... Step back a little from anything that causes you stress um, and try to adapt the situation. This is another Libra, Libra trait. You try to adapt because your, your soul is so keen on having balance. Um, and sometimes it is in the upset of things. It is in the, 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 the being outside of your comfort zone that makes or brings a lot of changes that ultimately make for a better life. Okie dokie. So, that's all I got, my friends. See you all next month. Bye-bye.